teachers are handling the current student rebellion situation with regards to the parents? I can't answer that. It varies from place to place. Uh, certainly it is a problem. It uh, is one that has come upon us so suddenly that I'm afraid that many teachers' organizations uh, were not any more prepared for it than people in higher education. But it certainly is a trend, and I believe that the feeling is that uh, students, too, must be heard. Congress is currently in an economy mood. Now, do you feel that uh, federal aid to education will be effective? Yes, I believe that it is uh, possibly the, the only answer to the massive problems of education that we have. I think we can no longer hide behind any kind of excuse that completely at the present places total responsibility for the education of children with states that we know are making great effort but have not the resources. Now there are, of course, two sides to this as far as solutions are concerned. There are those who say that the government uh, can better serve by building up the economy of states. It's a recognized fact that southern states do make a greater effort out of per capita income, a larger percentage of this, this money uh, going toward education. Uh, nevertheless, if the total resources of a state are very low, then it stands to reason that even 50% of per capita income will also be very low. But with the mobility of population, we can no longer afford to be unconcerned about the kind of educational opportunity that children have you in the various states. You mentioned the fact that uh, the southern states would benefit more. Uh, why? Is it because of a poverty situation or what? Yes, the low income, the low income certainly uh, gives us indication that if the money is not there, even if we tax to the hilt, we cannot afford the kind of educational opportunity that will allow these children to move with their families into areas and in competition with children who have had better educational opportunities. On the other side of the ledger, is there uh, much discrimination against Negro teachers? in the South as opposed to the North? Uh, by comparison, uh, one can only say that perhaps uh, the kind of discrimination differs. Uh, in, in one instance, there has been acknowledged uh, segregation of school systems. In the other, there might have been segregation of teachers without acknowledged segregation. So we run into the business of de facto segregation. Now, the hue and cry, of course, uh, in different uh, localities uh, makes us look at the problem in a different light, uh, depending on where we are. Uh, with the integration of schools, there has been a displacement of uh, ne many Negro teachers, administrators especially. Uh, this, is, this is a great problem. There has been the elimination of many positions uh, the closing of Negro high schools especially has created the problem of what do we do with the administrator. 